Well, up until last Friday, the West Noble boys had the best record in the entire state of Indiana. However, after losses to Fairfield and Northwood, the Chargers looking to right the ship tonight and do it against conference leader Westview. Chargers 4 and 1 in league play. Westview 5 and 0, so certainly conference title implications in Topeka. Westview's Jordan Bontrager knocks it down from deep, and then you're going to see Bontrager show, you know, he showed he can shoot, he shows he can get to the rack as well. Getting fancy there, but West Noble's Drew Skimmerhorn can't leave him open. Too good a look if you're Westview. He buries the three, but Judas Sikafus would finish down low for Westview. Westview now 6 and 0 in conference. They win 66 55. Westview girls a win away from finishing 10 and 0 in conference and winning the NECC title outright. Second quarter is Maria McCoy in the post. Wears up by 10 at the half. Fast forward to late in the game. West Noble battling all the way. Kelsey Peterson, she had 34 points on the night. Couldn't do much more, but simply too much. Westview in Topeka as the Warriors win the NACC title as they finish 10 0 in conference play. 59 51 your final. The Homestead clips the NHC title outright last weekend. Tonight, the fifth-ranked Spartans hosting Leo. Marissa McLaughlin gets the pilfer and the pair. And then you're going to see some senior leadership here. Sydney Buck passes ahead to Lindley Kistler for the easy two. Later, more from Homestead as it was the Spartans' night. Savannah Buck grabs it, gives it to Josie Fisher. She finishes as Homestead rolls 75-29. Makeup game along the highway of Vice Presidents, Columbia City Girls at Huntington North. Fourth quarter action, the Eagles trailing. Macy Heinen gets the bucket for Columbia City. They would eventually cut the lead to three as they were trailing, but the Vikings stay in front at home. Alyssa Hippel working it down low. She gets the two there. Then you're going to see Lindsey Foster with a bucket for the Vikings as Huntington North beats rival Columbia City 49-42. Now, in an odd doubleheader at Huntington North, the Vikings boys taking on a different opponent. They were taking on conference rival Kokomo. First quarter, Kokomo going in the post. That's Eric Bowen with the bucket. Then it's the Vikings going to work, and they do it from behind the arc. Matt Hogan, known for his passing, apparently has a pretty good three-point stroke as well. You're going to see the coach's kid, Keaton Irwin, pop from deep here. But Huntington North could not win this one. They fall. 69-51. We got more highlight zone coming up next, including comments, college signings, and the party in the park. This is